All right, man. Devin Haney beat Vasyl Lomachenko unanimous decision. 116, 112, 115, 113, 115, 113. A lot of people didn't like the 116, 112, but like I said, it's my opinion. Uh, I had it 115, 113, but I could see 116, 112 because it was a lot of close rounds in that fight. And if you favor, if you favored what Devin Haney did, you favored what Devin Haney did. But I ain't rewatch it, and I don't plan on rewatching it. I don't be having time to rewatch it, but. You know, what a lot of people are going to continue to say is Loma won. But I'm going to tell you this. You don't score a fight on the moment. Lomachenko moments was few, far in between. Right? You can see the hate for Devin Haney. Um, outspoken. Uh, uh, I think he practiced Islam. Is it Muslim? Is, it, is that considered Muslim? Um, and, you know, like I said before, Lomachenko, I knew Lomachenko was going to snap his head back with his punches. That's what he do. But those punches, you know, wasn't as effective as they looked. But it was basically, did you like this, the, the spurts of Lomachenko or did you like the consistency of uh, Devin Haney in those rounds? It's as simple as that. What Lomachenko was doing was shoe shining. And that's not going to, and a lot of times, unless you Sugar Ray Leonard, you not it's not going to win a fight. It's not going to win a fight. A lot of what Devin, what, what Lomachenko did was shoe shining. He threw a whole bunch of combinations and it looked good. But just because you come in forward and you move your hands, it don't mean it's effective. And the amateur style of him, instead of pressing on the gas when he threw combinations, he he continued. Nobody talking about this. I'm telling you. I, you know, I already know because the motherfuckers don't know boxing. They was listening to, to Timothy Bradley promote Loma Bation. Shout out to Lion Killer Podcast for bringing that up. They was too busy Loma baiting, right? And if y'all if y'all let the media control your mind in boxing, so I don't even realize what the media control your mind elsewhere, right? But if you notice Lomachenko, especially in that eleventh round, where he really probably should have stepped on the gas to try to get to drop uh, uh, Devin Haney, when he really should have put the pedal to the metal. But if you notice throughout this fight, when Lomachenko pressed Devin Haney back, because it wasn't a lot of holding, especially in the beginning of this fight, it was not. And when he pressed Devin Haney backwards, right, when he threw three or four shots and only maybe one landed, maybe two on the good one, right, Devin, Lomachenko, nobody's speaking on this because they don't know the technical aspect of boxing. Lomachenko kept taking, kept resetting. It kind of reminded me, it kind of reminded me of Keith Thurman fighting the uh, it kind of reminded me of Keith Thurman fighting uh, 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 Manny Pacquiao. That's what it reminded me of. Keith Thurman fighting Manny Pacquiao. That's exactly what it reminded me of. Keith Thurman fighting Manny Pacquiao. Keith Thurman would come forward. He would land on Manny Pacquiao when he figured out, yo, if I throw straight punches, if I throw my straight right, I can beat Manny Pacquiao. And every time Keith Thurman had not snapped Manny Pacquiao head back, what did Keith Thurman do in that fight? He kept taking a step back, a half step back and resetting. Instead of taking a step over, instead of taking a step over, he kept taking a half step back and resetting. And Lomachenko, Lomachenko did the same thing. Lomachenko did the same thing. Nomachenko is doing the same thing. He kept taking he kept taking that half step back. He kept taking that and, and, and I don't know why he kept doing it. I don't know if it's just what he did in the amateurs or whatever. But nobody talk about that. Why not, especially in that 11th round, why not put the pedal to the metal? Why not put the pedal to it was too much of this, and then he he would he would it was too much of this, and he would and he would reset instead of go all the way in and throw combinations. Lomachenko, if anything, bro, Lomachenko could have won that fight in the 11th, or at least got a draw. Had he dropped him, he would have won that fight. And he did not. 
Everybody want to talk about, oh, man, you know, Devin Haney, this, that. No. Lomachenko had an opportunity to win that fight. And Lomachenko, you cannot win a fight. Shoe shine unless the other person not absolutely doing nothing. Devin Haney was more consistent and from the three-minute point around to the one-second round. And if you notice, Lomachenko would wait to the middle of the round, and then he will land a good shot. But one or two good shots, just because you throw combinations, don't mean they was landed. He landed one or two good shots. And then what he tried to do around the 15-second mark, he had tried to steal the round and shoot shine. It's a three-minute round. It's a three-minute round. You know, we can get into who what who face looked like what and what face looked like what and who did this, who did that. Them arm punches that he was throwing, Devin Haney landed the more effective shots. Devin Haney hurt him more. But since the commentators didn't call it out, y'all didn't know shit. Y'all act like it didn't happen. How many times I seen, you know, Lomachenko mouth opening up from a body shot, bro? Real talk. Real talk. Devin Haney was in there hurting him. And I ain't going to say Lomachenko hurt him, especially down the stretch. And people want to say, well, because of the weight cut, guess what? Don't don't fight at the weight. If you don't fight at the weight, then that ain't no excuse. But Devin Haney, my whole thing is Devin Haney fought the majority of the three-minute rounds more than Lomachenko did. If Lomachenko was going to win, shoe shining, if Lomachenko was going to win doing that, he needed to drop Devin Haney. The arm punches, he needed to flick more more damage. The 10th and 11th round was his best op his best opportunity to run away with the fight. That was his best, op best opportunity to run away with the fight. And he didn't step it up. Devin Haney hit him with a couple left hooks that hurt his ass. Good ones. And the thing about it is, he sat right in the, he sat right in the pocket with that with, with Lomachenko too. He ain't do no moving. He ain't do no no none of that. Now I I think he probably you know with the weight cut he couldn't move. He couldn't move. He probably couldn't have his legs the way he really his legs looked a lot stronger this fight too. Let me say that, and maybe because he didn't move as much. But Devin Haney. Fought the majority of the rounds. Lomachenko fought in spurts. And I don't know because he was old, but we can't change the narrative. If before the fight, if you was picking Lomachenko, you was picking Lomachenko. A lot of these niggas can't admit that they was wrong. They can't. A lot of these dudes can't admit that they was wrong. I don't, I don't, I don't have a personal dog in the fight. Honestly, I like Devin. But I told y'all this was a 50-50 fight. I like Lomachenko too. Flame all came in. Oh, you ain't got nothing, nothing good to say about Lomachenko because y'all only focus on the negative shit that people say. People say, you don't know there's nothing good to say about Earl Spence because y'all only focus on the negative shit you got to say. When I get Earl Spence props, don't nobody say nothing. Because everybody attracted to negativity. That's what they attracted to. Everybody attracted to negativity. When you when you preach positivity, you preach progressing the sport of boxing and all that. Don't you, your page don't get no hits. Trust me. When you talk about X's and O's, that's why I don't really get, don't really do prediction videos like I used to. Only for the big fights. Don't nobody talk about that shit, dog. Don't nobody talk about that. But, you know, Lomach Lomachenko, you can't beat dudes fighting in spurts. And that's why he didn't beat Tiafima Lopez. That's why he didn't beat Tiafima Lopez. He kept fighting in spurts, bro. Just like in this fight, he got off, he got off to a he got off to a faster start this fight for sure. But it wasn't fast enough. I heard people saying they had Devin Haney winning like the first half of the fight, the majority of the first half of the fight. I think Lion Killer said something like that. I think I had like 4-2 at one point. I had to go back on Twitter and look. I think I had 4-2 at one point. And, and people let their biasness come in and pick who they want to pick and only pay. That's why I don't pay attention to what people say about boxing no more. 
I got a few people opinion that I, I trust and I take in consideration, but I don't be paying attention to what people be saying no more because motherfuckers don't know shit about boxing. They ain't got enough experience, bro. And then again, the guys who do, they got their personal opinion. It's the ultimate opinion that is sport. You can't win fight, you know, throwing one combination and then trying to shoot shine your way at the end of the fight. You can't win like that. Keep telling y'all that, bro. It's a three minute round, dude. And just because you come forward, that don't make that don't mean that don't mean you won the fight. A lot of his his aggression was ineffective, and I, I'm gonna keep saying that a lot of his aggression. He threw three or four combinations. A lot of them punches missed, bro. If we be honest, Devin Haney was the more accurate fighter at points in this fight. He landed the bigger and effective shots. And Lomachenko throw punches. He do throw punches that snap your head up. But I think it's more of a technique and it's not an indicator of how powerful the punches is. I just think that's how he throw punches. This is my humble opinion. But yeah, I had it 115-117, 115-113. I can't call a close fight a robbery. But I, I did feel comfortable when Devin Haney went in that fight. It was some rounds. Where I gave it to Lom uh, I gave some rounds to Lomachenko that I probably could have gave to Devin Haney. It was sometimes when Lomachenko started to round off good and then finished it strong, but in the middle of the round, those type of rounds I gave it to him, in the middle of the round, Devin Haney dominated. So yeah, I had it 4 2 through the first six. 5 2, 5 3, 6 3, 6 4 Haney, 6 5. Now, and it was 7-5. You know, Lomachenko just started too late. That's on him. But, hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop video. Financially, want to support the channel. Cash up. Dollar sign. CJ Good 313. Venmo. CJ Good 313. PayPal link in description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash up. Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Hold on. Peace.